All right, we got Motor Merc here. Hey, Motor Merc. And uh, we got two bikes. We got my 300 ZX3R, and we have Motor Mercs. This is a Ninja 650, what year is 2012? 2011. 2011. Now, the one I rode was like 2006, so this is a much more updated model. The uh, steering is not so much like this. I think they improved that. As you can see, he's got important stickers on here. Baron Von Grumble, this is his motor mode sticker. Six foot four Honda, Kawasaki, uh, coffee break meeting, that was fun, we both went to that. There we go, and this is uh, Royal Jordanian. So yeah, he's pretty entertaining as well. So this is the 650, I'm gonna check it out, having ridden the early one. It'll be really nice to ride a 2011. So I'm looking forward to it. But I'm just gonna give you my first impressions. All right, man. I'll see you up there. I'll just follow you. Follow me, whatever. If you want to pass me anytime, that's fine too. All right, here we go. This thing's in neutral. I forgot how upright this thing is. Okay, mirrors are. Can't see what's up with the mirrors. I think I'll leave those like they are for now. Wow, this bike feels strange. It feels very different. You can adjust these if you want. Okay? I think they're good right now. And Motor Merc on the ZX3R. Look at all that inseam. I'm so jelly. <laughs> He's got feet down with like a, uh, a space pod sized leg to spare. <laughs> I'll have to get used to the clutch on this thing. Ready? There we go. This thing's got some torque. What a relaxed riding position. It's like sitting in an easy chair with handlebars. It feels really good, man. It's so comfortable. It's like, ah, uh, it took a lot of load off my gut because I just ate. I feel like. I gotta lose weight anyway, like 15 pounds, but when you eat, yeah, it's made worse, and then you're hunched over a little bit on a high-performing sport bike like the ZX3R, I'll tell you what. Okay, so first impressions, bars are really fracking comfortable, mirrors are actually useful, turning Turning is okay, it's not as fluid as my ZX3R and I, I wouldn't really expect it to be. Okay, Motor Merc's behind me. I'm sure Motor Merc is still trying to get used to the 300. This thing you can just cruise in second or third. And it's so torquey. Now, I do already like it better than the uh, FZ6R that I rode. Fueling seems to be pretty good. I'll know more later, but I'm just cruising right now. And this is the same bike that M13 has. Of course, I don't know what year his is, but it's got to be around the same year, I'm guessing. Now, this bike with clip-ons would be pretty sexy. When I first rode this bike, it was a guy from work who had this bike. He, he got it the first year it came out, and I think that was actually I should know that was like 2005 or six or so. And the bars on that were swept back a lot more like this, so it was a really weird, unnatural position. The bars on this are much better than they used to be. A little windy out. But this bike, man, this is a great touring bike. I can see why uh, Steve Motormerk takes this everywhere. And he does go everywhere. If you haven't yet, check out his series on California. It's fantastic. Can you make your turn from the actual turn lane? Don't kill me, thank you. 
This thing is so torquey. It almost feels like a torqueier version of my bike, but like with the stock handlebars. It feels a lot like the Ninja 300 stock. So I'm going to talk briefly about super sport bikes or mid-sized bikes and why you shouldn't get hung up on CCs. First of all, compare this bike that I'm riding right now. Is this chicken that I'm eating or tuna? Compare this bike to a 636. This bike is way more relaxed, super forgiving, super easy to ride. I'm already completely at home on it and I've only been on it for like 10 minutes. And it's just a great bike. It's got excellent fueling, excellent throttle response, not too jerky, not violent. It's completely relaxed as far as positioning. Good for the older folks who might have back problems. Good for anyone who wants a more upright seating position or doesn't want to be a monkey hump in a football. Or in my case, a macaque. And great gauges, digital tack. Eh, I'm, I like analog tacks, but it's still nice. Nice gigantic uh, speedometer digital clock, of course, nice. Now the turning is pretty good, let's see. This is the first real corner. I gotta go easy here because I don't know what the bike's gonna do, although I feel like I know what it's gonna do. Not bad, not bad. The tires are not what I would choose, but they seem to be pretty good. Modern tires, it's hard to go wrong. I feel so bloated after eating that this bike is a welcome change. Lots of leg room. The tank is grippable, not too skinny. There's the tank view. Baron Von Grumble. I mean, it's so torquey, I don't even need to change gears. Granted, I'm going at a pretty slow pace here. I'm already feeling great on this bike, I love it. With clip-ons, this thing would be a beast, I'm telling you. And proper tires. Let's shift down. Shifting is butter smooth. The throttle response actually feels great. Pegs are in a good spot. Like I said, relaxed riding position. Torquey as hell, but super smooth. What a brilliant, brilliant feeling on this bike. I'm already in a better mood just having started to ride it. See, with this lower speed corner, you can just torque out of it. Now, this is a twin. I think it's a parallel twin. 650 cc's. Really nice tuning, and I was ready for that truck to not know I was there, and I think I was right. I appreciate people who use turnouts. Thank you. You're awesome. Love you. Mean it. So the mirrors are surprisingly good. They look like they're not going to do squat, and they're good. Slow down, get on the gas. Fueling is so good that getting on the gas is not a not a dramatic proposition. I always run street tires. I just tend to run the the really good stuff. Oops, nice. That was nice. Now I feel like I feel like my knees are kind of flailing out in the wind just because the way the riding position is. But it's something you just gotta get used to. And you can always grip the tank. Torquey as hell, man. God, I really, I really love this bike. I loved it the first time I rode it. It's weird. It feels like it should be slower than it is. But it's not. It'll 
I can tell it's going to do anything I can throw at it. I mean, because, you know, I'm used to the riding position of a sport bike, and this thing doesn't say performance per se, but it'll give it to you. It's there. Just because you're sitting in, an, in a comfortable bike doesn't mean you can't give it some use. It's mostly the tires I don't trust, but they're pretty good. That torque is really fun. You know what it feels like is a, a, an SV650. Hopefully Steve's okay back there. is quite compliant, good, not harsh, very nicely suspended I think for my weight, about 150. Brakes are good. Fueling is just really perfect. It'll fight you a little bit more in the corners than the Ninja, but the 300, I should say. But it feels perfectly appropriate for this bike of this size. I don't want to say fight, it just doesn't tip as easily as the 300. A lot of blind corners we're running into. Yeah, my legs kind of feel like they're flailing around out here. I'm trying to get a better riding position. shift in a while. I tend to rev bikes high, so let's try it in a, in a higher gear to see how torquey it is. See, I'm like not hanging off right because I'm not used to the body of the bike, but let's see. This is a good corner. You don't really need to wind it out because it's got so much torque. So this is a lot like the SV650, a bike I used to own and love really. But I like trying different bikes too, which is why I go through so many bikes. I 
I would definitely put better tires on it though, on this. You can really squirt out of corners nicely with little drama. Feels very planted, which I like. It doesn't once you're used to it, the inputs are pretty easy. Big bike or no? It's very forgiving. So this bike is way more forgiving than a 636. So if you want a bigger starter bike and you don't want a, a bona fide super sport. Definitely give a hard look at the Ninja 650. Okay, I'm gonna let him go ahead of me. Yay! <laughs> okay, this is uh, Motor Merc on the ZX3R in 2013. He might lose me, I don't know. turns like nobody's biz. I just don't want to push too hard yet. What do you guys think? Does he like it? What do you wager? I think he does like it. I'm betting. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get a quick assessment. What do you think so far? I like it a lot. I'm impressed. Yeah? I think for this size bike, a bike in this uh, displacement range, Right. I've never ridden anything that's this competent. Uh, I, if I had any complaints, I'd say the suspension doesn't feel that balanced to me. I think there's a little bit of like maybe a spring shock imbalance because when I go over bumps I get a little bit of kind of like a boing boing kind of a feeling. Right. And of course the, the power isn't there but right, right. Mean, you can't really expect it and compared to the old 250 because I've got an older 250 and compared to that it's night and day. This bike night is and day, huh? super, vastly superior. Yeah I agree. I was I, I love that bike too man it's so good. Yeah. It's uh I mean, it's 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 got great suspension, really good fueling, great power. It feels like an SV650 kind of, you know? Yeah, well, that's, I know it's a parallel think... twin, but still, feels great, very comfortable. Um, what do you think of the clip-ons? Oh, so these are aftermarket. Actually, I was mentioning yeah. that. So, yeah, nothing but good things to say about this bike. Uh, 
you know, it's 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 bigger than a 300. It's a little heavier, a little bit more expensive. Not a whole lot more expensive. Just a little bit. But, you know, you get a lot of bang for your buck. It's I'm sure it's awesome on the freeway because it's a perfect freeway bike. You know, if you throw some clip-ons on this thing and some really good tires and just get used to it, it's, it'll be a canyon screamer, man. And if, if you got the skills, you can hang with anybody, anybody. Really, it comes down to skill and risk. How much risk you're willing to take. Me, I'm not a lot. I'm not willing to take a lot of risks on other people's bikes. So this bike is so good. You know, it's like so torquey and so smooth. You know, it's okay to have torque, but if your engine isn't smooth, what do you have? So you gotta have the smoothness as well. I'm like embarrassingly slow here, because the sun's kinda in my eyes, and I just don't like this road. It's so dirty and, you know, not my cup of tea. Plus, I almost got killed here once. I think I've told the story. Coming the other way, had a truck in his lane and in my lane. About this road that freaks me out. I don't know what it is. I think it's the dirt more than anything. Off camber right there. But the downhill parts are really sketchy. And that's what freaks me out the most. But this bike is doing quite well. See, this is the part where I get freaked out here. This one turn freaks me out more than any. Okay, I'm going too slow. These series of turns going downhill. A little dirty, a little narrow. I'm such a confidence rider that if I'm not confident, I'm slowing away. I slow down so much. Okay, now let's not get another ticket. Alrighty. How about that? Jeez. But yeah, everything about this bike is just. Great for a beginner, great for the experienced rider. There's really nothing I can say bad about it. These are some nice sweepers here, which are really fun. I think even for a first time rider, it 
pretty good. It's got a fuel gauge. It's a little confusing, but there it is. This bike is capable. This bike, you know, this bike is capable. I'm overcracking a little bit. Okay, gripping the tank now, I'll get a dip. Yeah. This bike's pretty agile. I keep underestimating how well it'll turn. So I'm overcracting. It's pretty agile. Again, just because it's comfortable doesn't mean it can't go. Thank you.